Uh, my name is Charles Chapman. I'm 60 years old right now. I attended a um, Cooper Island Indian Residential School and also St. Mary's Indian Residential School. When I look back at uh, attending the schools and try to recall some of the memories, fond memories, difficult memories, uh, challenging memories, I, I need to talk about um, I guess one of the most difficult things that a person would experience. I was taken away from my family. And at a young age, my mother died and my father died. I was at the residential school. So I had to grow up without parents. Anything I ever wanted in life, I had to learn how to work for it. And from that, I picked up a lot of different uh, people that I looked up to. That made a big impression in my life. So I wanted to be like them. Frank Calder is one of the main people I always watched, listened to. I really enjoyed watching history, watching people like George Manuel too. So I got involved in trying to find out who who I am and where I came from early in life. You know, when I look at now what we're leading up to, the apology from the Prime Minister, I'd have to say that I've been waiting for this for many years. I, I welcome it. I, I believe that this is going to be a change and I hope it's going to be a change for a lot of the people. I, I hope that uh, the acceptance of the apology be, would, would be helpful to move on. I know that a lot of the channel challenges we went through, we only made it by sticking together. And that's what we learned in the residential school. Learn how to be together take punishment together, go without food together, help each other out when they, when they really needed it. You know, ever since I left the residential school, I did my best to keep in touch with a lot of the people I went to school with. And that's a really big help for me because I managed to meet a lot of people throughout the province. And I think that was one of the benefits I had from the residential school. You know, I always liked a good challenge and I always liked a good opportunity to learn. And those were the things that I was able to pick up from that. You know, I really look forward to June the 11th. Thank you. Okay, my name is Vera Jones. Um, my residential school name was Vera Sandra Rush, and I'm 61 now. I went to St. George's Residential School in Lytton. I was there for about eight years. And then they sent me to St. Michael's School in Elmer Bay for a couple of years, and then Edmonton for three years. Um, I didn't graduate. Um, well, I guess um, one of the I, I guess one of the biggest memories I have. I have lots of memories, but one of them, the biggest one, is um, uh, just being alone. Um, even though there was a lot of kids in the residential school. 
um, I was still alone. Um, I didn't, I didn't make any friends. I tried to make friends, and it was um, very, it was very difficult because I was very shy. Um, it was very awkward for me. Um, so it was hard for me to be around anybody. Um, I remember. I, one of the vivid memories I do have is um, when I got to Lytton, especially as a young young child, and we used to have to travel by train. Um, they would uh, haul us all on a, a great big um, farmer truck, and uh, if we couldn't sit, we had this stand. We were treated like cattle, and we had this stand in these big uh, farmer trucks in the middle of the night and uh, be driven to the residential school. And uh, I just remember that it was very lonely. We were never close. We couldn't, we couldn't hug each other or support each other. Uh, I have no closeness with my, or I didn't with my sister or my brother. Um, we all went to residential school, separate, separate places, separate times. And so there was no closeness in the family, as in with my kids as well. Um, it's been a long journey for me to work towards that, to become a um, family, family member, to be there for my own children my grandchildren now. Bukokas Bukwila, Yashtakshas Dididat. My name is Bukwila. I'm from the Dididat First Nation. My name is Charlie Elwood Thompson. I attended the Alberni Indian Residential School for 10 years. I went there with my two younger brothers, Jack and my late brother Art. And both our parents who are deceased now, went to the same school. My most vivid memory is my first day. Um, we were greeted by Caldwell, the principal of the school, and our parents brought us into the school. We got into the hallway, there was a brief discussion with Caldwell, and a supervisor came down the hall and grabbed all three of us and, and brought us up to the top dorm. When I looked back, my parents were gone, and I was wondering why we were there and uh, why they left us there. But my most vivid memory is crying for that whole day, wondering why I was there. Um, me and my brother Jack ended up sitting in a, in a window of uh, the residential school outside, and uh, both him and I were bawling our heads off. And that was, we were holding each other and wondering why our parents brought us there, and left us there to, to uh, I thought they didn't want us anymore. And for that whole year, come to the understanding that we're not wanted. That's why we were brought there by our parents.